Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, so let's go ahead and get shuffled up. Spirit with clarity, guidance, and love messages. Do we have here today for my Capricorns, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns. We've got the Judgment card and the Seven of Cups. Sagittarian energy. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Capricorns, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. We have the Six of Cups, the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, energy, the Page of Swords. So we've got the Six of Cups, the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, energy, Page of uh, Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and the Seven of Wands. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns. So we've got the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and we've got the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. And we've got the Five of Wands. Tell me about my Capricorns, please. Tell me about my Capricorns. So we've got the Three of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So Capricorn, what I'm feeling here, we've got the King of Swords in uh, in the bottom of the deck. So we've got the King to the Queen of Swords here, which is a true pair. But um, so this is going to be about an X. This is X screamed all over it. Okay. So this is a true soul tie. It is a true pair here with the King and Queen of Swords. It's also a relationship that has gone cold. You may not have spoken to this person in a long time, Capricorn. Um, you may not, you know, you maybe you ended things badly with this person where you guys are both very defensive with one another at this point in time, or maybe at that point in time, um, with the judgment card, Okay, with the Judgment card and the Queen of Swords, I feel like someone here does want to come together. Someone here would like to give this another chance. With the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands, I feel like someone is dreaming about this person. I feel like someone is dreaming about the good old days when this person wasn't cold, but they were warm and hot and loving and passionate. Someone is going back and daydreaming, having those dreams of when times were good and you guys were passionate about each other. With the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like the divine is bringing this back together again with the emperor and the five of wands. Um, I feel like someone here is willing to take control of the situation at this point in time. Someone's going to step up to the plate and fight for this. Okay. With the page of swords and the reverse and the three of swords, I feel like someone here may be stalking to possibly see um, with the seven of wands and the nine of pentacles. I feel like someone here fears rejection. They want to make sure that there's no third parties in the mix. So someone here may be stalking or gathering information to see, you know, if I go in to speak to my person, to this ex, will I get rejected? Are they single or are they with somebody? Okay. So someone here is trying to find out information. Yeah, someone here is, is wanting a new beginning with someone that they still have feelings for. They've kept these feelings on, uh, they've, had, they've had control over these feelings for quite some time, but now someone here wants to express them. They want a new beginning in love. I feel like with the devil card here, someone is becoming obsessive about it. Like someone can't stop thinking about this ex, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Capricorns, please. Tell me about the Judgment card, please. The Judgment card, we've got the Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Swords, the High Priestess. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius from my Libra. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. We've got the Two of Pentacles in the reverse and the Three of Wands. So what's happening here, someone has been refraining from making a final decision. But with the High Priestess and the Queen of Swords, it's like someone is always wondering, what is my Queen of Swords doing? What is my Queen of Swords up to? What is happening in my Queen of Swords life? So someone has been stopping themselves, especially with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Someone has been in their head daydreaming about this person, thinking about this person, possibly even dreaming about this person at night while they sleep. Um, Queen of Wands, the Two of Pentacles in the reverse and the Three of Wands. Someone here is making a final decision. They, they've been up and down. Should I reach out? Should I not reach out? Should I do it? Should 
did I not do it? Three of Wands. This person is yearning for this Queen of Wands, this Leo Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. Yeah, we've got the Lovers. This is a very strong soul tie. Very strong soul tie here. Tell me about this Emperor. We've got the Strength card and the Four of Cups. This Emperor has held themselves back for long enough. They've been very unhappy, emotionally dissatisfied. And with the Strength card, they really, this, this Emperor here really wants this Queen of Wands, but they've held themselves back. They've held themselves back. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Pentacles. The Divine is bringing this new beginning together. Tell me about the Five of Wands and the Chariot in the Reverse. So I feel like someone is worried about competition. Someone here is worried worried about, you know, if I make this decision to move forward, it needs to be in victory. I have to know that there's no one else in the picture and that I'm going to win because when the emperor makes a move, the emperor conquers, okay? The emperor's in control. So this emperor is not, you know, an emperor controls an entire empire. So this emperor doesn't make quick and impulsive decisions. This emperor is going to study and do his work or whatever. And guys, gender doesn't matter. This The emperor could be a female, okay? Tell me about the page of swords in the reverse. The Justice card, a Libra energy. Tell me about the Three of Swords and the Page of Swords. Yes, yeah, someone here wants to make sure that when they come in to apologize or when they come in to make everything right, that there's no third party picture that's going to stand in the way. Yeah, see, this Emperor is about to come in. They're giving in. They're going to come in and they are going to bring this apology. They're going to say, listen, I want my Ten of Pentacles with you. I want my Queen of Pentacles. You are my wish fulfillment. You are my Two of Cups. And I regret with the Five of Cups what I did. Queen of Wands and the Hierophant. Someone here is coming in to offer commitment to this queen of wands okay but before they make a move they just want to make sure that there is no third party interference tell me about the seven of wands we've got the hierophant okay yeah someone here doesn't want to get rejected because they don't want to hear i'm in a relationship somewhere else tell me about the nine of pentacles and the ten of cups if this person if this ex is single and completely independent and available they will get this Emperor's, all of this Emperor's Ten of Pentacles and all of this Emperor's Ten of Cups. Yeah, this Queen of Wands and the Emperor and the Sun. The Queen of Wands, the Emperor, and the Sun, they go and live happily ever after. The Judgment card, a second chance. So if, if just as long as this Queen of Wands and this ex is single and independent and ready to, you know, to, to roll, this is going to come together and be beautiful. At least that's what this Emperor feels, okay? So let's see what we have here. Spirit, what advice do we have for my Capricorns? Nothing is set in stone yet. Nothing will come of the situation. And communication is, is key. Okay, so what we have here, a personal issue reaches resolution. Someone's battling with their pride. So someone's like, okay, I've made this decision. I really, 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 really want this Queen of Wands. I've made this decision. But nothing is set in stone yet. And then someone gets in their head of nothing's going to come of this. Because what if I reach out and they're with somebody? Communication is key. The fact of the matter is, you're not going to know what's happening here until you sit down and have a conversation with someone. A personal issue reaches resolution. So what's happening here is someone is having a lot of internal conflict as to whether or not they should reach out because they're scared of rejection. Someone here is like, I know what I want, but this isn't set in stone yet because I don't know what if I reach out to them and nothing is set and nothing comes of this. What if I put myself on the line and nothing happens here? Communication is key. You got to just open up your heart, move towards this person, tell them how you feel and that's it. Okay. Now Capricorn, if this isn't you, you may have an ex that's coming forward we've got financial constraints we've got the thinking woman and we've got magician in the mirror under the deck all tied up i feel like someone here cannot stop thinking of someone that they lost they're thinking of this person so much it could be a woman it could be a woman thinking about a man that they lost or someone's thinking about a woman that they lost either way someone here is thinking so much about this ex about this person that they're literally manifesting this person back into their life without even knowing it you know what i'm saying it's like this person that they can't stop thinking about this person clarity guidance love messages for my capricorns please advice for my capricorns we've got taking steps we've got dark thoughts and we've got friends and colleagues under the deck we have peace someone here wants peace because they can't get out of their head about this person someone here may be involving friends and family members or every time someone goes to take a step towards this, they let their thoughts 
come in, get in the way. Do you understand? Like as soon someone here may start dialing the phone number and then they stop like, what if, you know, what if her boyfriend answers or something, right? Then they get scared and they pull back, right? So, or someone writes a letter and they rip it up and throw it away. Or someone writes the text and just delete the whole thing. So someone here may try to go through a friend or a family member, a third party to get through to this ex so that they don't have to take the brunt of the rejection. If you know what I'm saying? If they decide to reach out. So that may be this person's plan to, to, to use a third party to go towards, to use a third party to go towards this ex so that if, you know, the ex rejects them or let's just say someone's boyfriend or girlfriend picks up the phone or someone says, no, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. This emperor doesn't have to take that rejection at face value. They just have to hear it through a third party. You see what I'm saying? So someone here has having a massive fear of rejection. Spirit, clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. Religious factors. Someone's being divinely guided back to somebody. Messages for my Capricorns, please. We've got... Keep an open mind. Your soul may differ from your usual type and ex expectations. Express your love and trust. I feel like what's happening here is this situation came apart and someone maybe never in a million years thought that they would come back together again with this person. But we have here, keep an open mind. Someone here is like, you know what? Maybe it is meant to be. To, maybe it is meant to come back together because I can't stop thinking about this person. So I feel like Spirit is saying to have faith, you know, go in and express your love. Don't worry about unrequited love. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about whether or not this person loves you or not. Just worry about expressing yourself and seeing what happens and having faith. What other advice do we have here for my Capricorns? Very soon, clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. Let your friends help you. I feel like very strongly someone's, the way someone's going to handle this is they're going to have a third party step in to go towards this ex. Yeah, I see we have healing here. I do feel like we have healing here. Yeah, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. You're separated from this person right now, but I do feel like there's going to be a conversation. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with one another and give your relationship a chance. Um, I feel like you may have to get to know this person again because it's been such a long time since you've been with them. But I feel like you guys may actually have a heart-to-heart -heart and talk about maybe giving this another shot. Okay? All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.